Hello, good morning. This is Mike. Welcome to my bench. Today I'm going to talk about measuring tools that every shop should have. And this today I'm going to focus in on the dial indicator. So a dial indicator is simply just a spring-loaded plunger that's attached to a needle. It's on a dial. And so the way it works is uh, every time this spring-loaded plunger is depressed, it tells me how much that movement is by the movement of the dial. And the dial is graduated in thousandths of an inch. And there's one inch of travel on this indicator, maybe a little bit more, like one, like one inches. But the accuracy on it is one thousandth of an inch over the whole length of the travel of the plunger, which is pretty good for the shop. Another thing to notice is on the back, there's a lug with a hole in it. So you can attach this to different things to make it much more useful. This is attached to a small magnetic base, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. So I'm going to show you three uses, uh, common uses of the dial indicator in the shop. So here's one use for a dial indicator in the shop, and that's to check to make sure that my out feed table and my joiner is in line with my in feed table. So I've raised my in feed table all the way up, so they should be perfectly flat. So what I've done is I've taken this dial indicator and I've attached it to a mini mag base, and this sticks really strong to this one, two, three block. This one, two, three block has enough mass to hold the dial indicator in place. So what I do is I set it down level right on the out feed table and I read it and it reads at 19. And when I move it across to the in-feed table, I read it and it reads at 14. So now I know that my out-feed table is a little high. And I've noticed this when I've cut, when I when I joint, sometimes when I joint, I kind of bump into the out-feed table. So now I know I need to lower it five thousandths of an inch. So a great use for a dial indicator in the shop. So let me show you probably the most innovative use for a dial indicator in the wood shop. Uh, actually, I'm going to use a dial indicator with the magnetic base, and that is to make very precise adjustments to my fence so I can do make very precise joinery, usually without a bunch of test cuts. So let me show you how this works. So I am going to try to groove, uh, size this tenon to fit in this groove here. Now, I've already done one cut. I've used my tenon jig, and I've made it purposely big so that the next cut, it'll be perfect. So what I've done is I've mic'd this groove at 260, and I've mic'd this tenon at 315, which means that I'm 60 thousandths big. Remember, I want to make this tenon 5 thousandths of an inch less than this groove, so it'll slip in there easily, and I won't have to pound it in. So now what I do is I take my dial indicator, and I set it on the far side of the fence, and I set it level, make sure it's level, and make sure it's perpendicular to the fence. Then I set my dial at zero, and then I move my fence very precisely, those 30 thousandths of an inch, make my cuts, and this tenon will fit perfectly. So let me do that. I'll, I'll adjust it over here. I set it over here on my fence. I set my dial to zero. Then I move my, I move it over exactly 30 thousandths. And I lock her down. Sometimes you have to loosen your fence just a little bit and just tap it over. Okay, so there it is. I move my fence 30 thousandths. Now I'm going to take this tenon and I'm going to get this, uh, get a perfect cut. See that? Fits in there perfect. No test cuts, no, no, no mis messed up pieces. So that is a really great use for this dial indicator with this mini mag base to make very precise joinery. So this is probably the most important reason to have a dial indicator, and that is to set your table saw fence and your blade to be parallel with your miter slot. That will greatly improve the quality of your cuts. So you can buy jigs to do this that sometimes cost $250, but my, my advice is don't spend that much money on a, on a device or a jig you're gonna use really infrequently, um, maybe even just a few times. So I made one. This is one I made that works very, very well. It's very quick to make, doesn't require any special equipment or tools or supplies. So the way it works is this, it's simply just a thing that rides in the, in the slot of my uh, table saw, the miter slot, and it's very precisely fit. Now, you can try to cut a piece of wood to fit in the slot exactly, but you're just, you're not gonna get it. It's gonna always have a little bit of wobble. So what I do is I drill a couple holes here and then I use what I call a 
nylon screw. I put two nylon screws. I just tap this with a with a regular metal tap, and then I insert these nylon screws in there. And I can get this thing to fit in here very nice, and it, and it slides, but it's very tight. So that means there's not going to be any play. So then I cut a slot in this little thing that fits this bar. And this bar is what I adjust uh, depending on what I need. Sometimes I need it to adjust it out or in. And then the way that I lock it in place is I just cut a groove in here. I cut a groove in here and drilled a hole. And in that groove, I dropped a square nut. So now that gives me threads and it gives me the ability to tighten this thing down. So I could put my, my uh, rod in here and just with a little, I just use a regular bolt. Little tightening there, this thing isn't moving at all. So then I have a hole in the end here that I attach my dial indicator. It's a quarter inch hole. And I have a little round, rounded top. And that allows this to tip if I need to so I can check like my arbor or my, uh, my flange on my table saw. So this is a very simple device that you can make that can help you check your fence alignment and your blade alignment. So here I'll just put it in here. And it slides in the, in the slot just like that. And then I can slide it forward and back and there's no play and there's no tipping. So then I can do my adjustments. So really, really important to have a dial indicator in your shop to align your table saw. So here's another use for a dial indicator in the shop and that's to check your drill press for run out. I would do this if I were buying a new drill press or if I were noticing problems with it to see if run out was the issue. Uh, I've attached the dial indicator to the, our magnetic base and I've stuck it to a one, two, three block. <clears throat> you could just attach the magnetic base directly to the table of your drill press, but I have this fence on here that's wood, so I, I'm using the one, two, three block. So when I do this, I just push it against the uh, drill blank and then I spin the drill press with the pulley at the top. So as you see, when I spin this, we're getting a little run out there. I think I was getting about 4,000 to run out, which means that it's actually, it's probably borderline. I need to do something, but at least I know what my drill press is. So there I'm getting about 4,000 to run out. So there you have it. Another use for a dial indicator in the shop.